these stocks in focus on budget day and on to some stocks that will in fact react to earnings today. We have Hero Motor Corp which came out with numbers <coughs> post markets uh, yesterday. In line set of numbers, Sonia joins in to tell us more. Sonia, morning. Hi, morning Ekta. Thanks for that. Well, it was an unexciting set of numbers. The numbers were tepid in line with expectations as you rightly pointed out. The margins fell 180 basis points on a year-on-year -year basis coming in at 14%. The realizations were not bad. They were up about 3 odd percent. More importantly, the management at the conference call indicated that inventory levels are still very high at about 6 to 8 weeks. They said that they are expecting growth, but growth will be just in high single digits in FY20. And a me minor improvement is in demand is what they've seen, but down trading will continue. So very quickly to tell you the numbers, revenue growth of 7.5%, margins have fallen by 180 basis points year on year, and the profits are in fact down by about 4.5%. But because there is no negative surprise, perhaps you could see a bit of a relief rally on the stock today. Absolutely, Sonia. Thanks a lot for that. So inline set of numbers coming in from Hero Motor Corp. Bharti Airtel also reported their numbers yesterday post markets. Uh, Reema joins us. Reema, in line for Bharti Airtel as well? Yes, largely in line with expectations. Some weakness in the India wireless business, but that was offset once again by strong performance by the Africa business. Uh, the surprise actually came in on the bottom line. The street was expecting a big loss of 950,000 crore thereabout. But the company managed to report a profit of 86 crore, but this was aided by an exceptional gain of close to 1,000 crore, which was an account of the company deconsolidating the payments bank. Now, while ETA will continue to hold an 80% stake in payments bank, the reason they managed to de consolidate it is an account of restructuring at the board and governance level because of which it's now a board controlled entity because of which they could you know deconsolidate it and manage to report that profit so quick run through of the consolidated numbers consolidated revenues up half a percent margins have come down by 30 basis points to 30.3 percent while at the bottom line there is a profit of 86 crore but if you strip out the exceptional and if you look at the performance at the PVT line the losses have actually come down on a quarter on quarter basis in account of Forex as well as lower interest costs because the debt level at the Africa level has come down. The India wireless business week, revenues were down about a half a percent. Margins came down by 180 basis points. Um, the Africa business was quite strong as always. Back to you. Okay, all right, Reema. Thanks very much for that. Well, that's on Bharti. But on to some earnings expected today. State Bank of India will be in focus ahead of its Q3 numbers released releasing today. Abhishek Kothari is here with the key expectations. Abhishek? Well, Ekta, good morning. It is expected to be a strong quarter for SBI. Now, given the fact that analysts on street are working with a 12 to 15,000 crore of slippages, that compares to about 10,900 crore in the previous quarter. But we need to see how the slippages come in from. If it comes from the watch list, it will be positive. If it comes from non-watch list slippage, like last quarter, 78% of the slippages from non-watch list were there. So that will be a key negative. Given the fact that recovery are expected, you know, the gross NPA can improve by 70 to 80 basis point on a sequential basis. So last quarter, the gross NPA was at 9.95 percent. Analysts are working with the loan growth to be the highest in last 11 quarters, at uh, highest in last four quarters at 11 percent, which could drive the net interest margin by five to six basis point on a sequential basis. So we are working with the NIA growth of 17 percent, while net profit at 3,300 odd crores could be the highest in last 13 quarters. Back to you. Okay, all right, Abhishek. Thanks very much for that. So that's on SPI. But we have Titan, which will be reporting its numbers today as well. That uh, stock managed to claw back to 1,000 rupees yesterday. But Manglam, what is your expectation? Uh, the stock is at a record high. The street is expecting a good set of numbers. Why do we say that for Titan? Because remember, before the uh, uh, results come by, the management gives a quarterly update. Out there, they have said that the company continued its good growth momentum across all businesses. For the jewelry business, the mainstay of the company, they expect the full year growth to be 22%. First half, it grew, grew at 18%. So that implies that the second half would grow at 27%. So that is what the street is working with. For the watches business, we'll watch out for strong revenue growth. The margins will be substantially subdued because the management has spent higher on advertising. Again, the management out here has given guidance. 18% is what they did in the first half. So 15, 16% is what they'll end this year with. So this, uh, the second half would be much lower than 18%. Put all those numbers together, you see a revenue growth of 27%. Close to 5,241 crores. EBITDA seen much higher, 32.5% growth out there, close to 600 crores, and a net profit around 409 crores. That implies, again, another 33% growth. All said and done, this is likely to be a good quarter. Also watch out uh, for what the company does with its ILNFS exposure because they had around 145 crores for which they made a provision for 29 crores. Let's see what that happens, but a good quarter is expected. Let's see if it can add the glitter to this day. 
Okay, all right, Manglam. Thanks very much for that. That's on Titan, and that's all the time that we have on this edition of Budget Breakfast. Do stay tuned for our special budget programming with the biggest voices from the market, top economists, and leading members of India Inc. Stay tuned to CNBC TV 18. As always, your budget headquarters. Thanks very much for watching.